करेला काजू किसमिस माई नेम इज शेफ अरपाल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ यूनिक डिश विच इज अ स्पेशलिटी ऑफ राजस्थान नाउ पीपल इन राजस्थान ईट दिस अलॉट सरप्राइजिंगली इट इज वेरी एक्साइटिंग है इट्स नॉट सरप्राइजिंग बट इट्स वेरी एक्साइटिंग दिस इनग्रीडियंट वेन मोस्ट ऑफ अस सी इन इंडिया आई आई थिंक सेवेंटी परसेंट प्लस वुड नॉट लाइक दिस पर्सनली आई लव दिस यू नो बिटर गॉड I I like this bitter gourd, and in India, as we say, Kerala, beautiful. Many people use it for diabetes. You know, they would peel this top and then squeeze the juice out of it and take a shot of this early morning, empty stomach, and probably the diabetes is under control. That's what I've seen my father also do when he was there and he had diabetes. So he would take shots of this once a week, and your diabetes in a, is in control. but here this dish is little twist to whatever we are making exciting okay this is very bitter if you just eat it like this but this is first deep fried generally people would scrape it add add salt and turmeric to it and then kind of squeeze it so that all the water and the bitterness is drained but if you deep fry it directly then you don't need to bother too much of this so what's here is just let me check if the oil is hot enough the oil needs to be hot enough the oil is not so hot so i'll wait for the oil to get hot you need to deep fry this first and then the next step i've got lots of cashew nuts lots of raisins as the dish is called karela kaju kismis so what you tend to get is like you know use equal quantities probably a little more of karela probably a kg of kilogram of karela and then you would use half a cup of cashew nuts half a cup of raisins I know that's increasing your monthly bill for grocery but once in 3 months 4 months you can definitely cook this or on occasions where you want to showcase your cooking skills definitely you can cook this it's an exciting thing you can bring in your twist well I'll wait for that after I've posted it on YouTube and in goes a little bit of this deep frying them make them nice and crisp like wafers crunchy that's what you need to do now that all the karela the bitter gourd is in here fry until nice and crisp now it's looking green here as you see but as it gets fried crisp it'll turn slightly brownish and you need to slice it really fine so that the whole karela is nice and crisp each of the slice is nice and crisp now this is something which i'll show you while this gets fried here what you need to do is you know take the top and scrape it you can use a peeler also if you want to so i'm just showing you what you need to do how you do it actually okay so the top layer is what you take out and what the scraping is even if you don't have diabetes i tell you once a month or once in two months take a shot of this and i tell you you will be fresh and what you need to do is slice it absolutely fine take your time don't rush this is how you slice it finely when you buy the karela you must remember press and see if it is soft from inside which means it's not the right kind of karela you are looking for the bitter gourd okay because if it is soft then there are seeds that are formed which are crunchy and it'll be hollow from inside so press and see if it's a young one it will not get pressed so easily and the seeds would not have formed full blown seeds would not be there which will be a difficult subject if you really have to you know fry them or slice them it will be difficult so what's happening is this one is out keep stirring in between what do you smell is the bitter steam even the steam is bitter that's coming out of this hot oil so that that's the kind of bitterness bitter god has no wonder it's named bitter god and but but a great ingredient to have you know uh, as one of your uh, things that you should be uh, using part of your dietary meals or or your weekly uh, vegetable which you cook at home once a week 
probably yes, you must. The bitter gourd slices, karelas, as you see, is nice and golden fried now. As I told you, the color will not remain green and that's what you see here. Take it out in a tissue paper like this so that the oil gets absorbed. That's it. Nice and crunchy. And you need to just stir fry the karela with the raisins and cashew nuts. So what I'm quickly going to do is some oil here. One tablespoon of oil in this. Wait for the oil to get heated. And then we're going to add asafoetida. And I've got some cumin, chilies, and some dry spices. Now, interestingly, the dish is sweet, sour, tangy, and the bitterness of the bitter gourd. The bitterness is, of course, almost gone. As you see this wafers now. You hear the crunch? Nice and crunchy. It's no more bitter. But still, at the end, the last thing in your mouthfeel definitely is bitter. So, some people actually rub it with turmeric and salt, squeeze it and then fry it. Bitterness still remains, but what happens is, when you put uh, turmeric and you put salt and then you squeeze it and fry, it generally spoils the entire oil. Here, now in this hot oil, asafoetida, cumin, chopped green chilies. If you like it spicy, you can always add more. I've added two green chilies that are chopped cashew nuts, loads of them, and raisins, lots of them. Now what's going to happen is, I'll tell you, all the bitterness and the sweetness from raisins, sugar, tanginess that will come from the dry mango powder that I'm going to add, it's going to make it an amazing dish. Even this dish would remain for long if you wish to keep it because you actually fried the bitter gourd and then you're sauteing the raisins. Saute the raisins till all of them become nice and round balls and then psh, go back to the normal shape. Yeah, that's what raisins do. So as they get heated up, all of them will become grapes back to the life. That's when they will not spoil the dish if it is kept for a longer period of time. I, I know that if you just leave it like that, if you add raisins directly to any kind of milk dish or any dish, it will not stay long. It will turn bitter, sour. So that's very important. If you're using raisins, try to fry them or saute them. They need to puff up and then you can add the next thing. This is almost ready here. Quickly, everything into this. The bitter gourd, brown onion. Now, this is something which is very, very important. You need to take three onions, slice it and fry them. Now, if you want to learn them, you can browse my recipe on YouTube again. And onions goes in here. A lot of things in here. Some dry mango powder, one teaspoon of that. Actually, a little more would also be fine. Chaat masala, again, one and a half teaspoon of chaat masala in goes chaat masala. Red chili powder, one teaspoon. Salt to taste. That's very, very important. Salt to taste or namak shamak, the way I do it. And sugar, just to get that tang, little bit of sugar in this. Citric acid crystals, okay, a pinch of that, not too much, just a little bit of that, just to get that little tang, right? So now all this inside, mix it up well. There you go. All dry spices, all get coated with the onions, the bitter gourd, there you see. Quick dish, all ready. Lastly, juice of one lime. Now this, if you want to keep this dish for a longer period of time, you want to use it over a period of three, four days, don't add lime. If you're using it the same day for the same meal, then add lime. That's it. And you can also keep it as a garnish in the side of a dish. Let the guest use the lime as they like it, okay? This is ready now, ready to use. Simple, let me taste, I can't resist this. I love this dish, you know. It's a little tiresome. Brown the onions, fry the bitter cord, saute the raisins and cashew nuts. But the end result, I tell you, is a beautiful dish. And everybody's going to love at home. 
and especially when you have bitter gourd, you will start loving it. Generally, most of us don't like it. Personally, I love it. Sweet, sour, tangy, beautiful. Just do it the way I've done it. You're going to enjoy it.